Hey, welcome to the Taste Spot TV. I'm Tony Brewski. It's that time of year. It's starting to get a little bit warmer out. Lots of people eating fish, especially on Friday nights in Wisconsin. I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite meals. It's simple to prepare. It's a tradition for the folks in Wisconsin. It's called a Friday night fish fry. And that's what we're going to make today on the Taste Spot TV. The next thing we're going to do is to get ready for our Friday night fish fry and make some awesome potatoes. The way that we like to do this is with a mandolin. Now, you got to know how to use one of these things because if you don't, you can very easily injure yourself. So make sure if you have one of these or pick one up at a kitchen supply store or a Target or something, read the instructions because when you're sliding things down a mandolin like this, it's very easy to not be thinking and get a finger in there and all of a sudden, whoops, there goes a finger. So be careful with this thing. Uh, of all the kitchen equipment, I've seen more injuries on this than almost anything else. So get your potato in here. I like to use nice, big, large, russet potatoes, big Idaho potatoes, and make sure you got the tops of this going. If you have a metal mesh glove you can use with uh, a mandolin, do it because it makes it that much safer. I, on the other hand, don't. So i just just going to use it like this and just slide the potato right down the mandolin. The first slice or two, it's going to be a little bit difficult. But once you get going, going back and forth, not going to be a problem. One of the best things about these french fries is that they are so simple to do and they use so few ingredients as well. All you got is a potato cut into the fry shape, you need a deep fryer, and then we're going to use some seasoning once they're all fried and done. All right, we got our deep fryer ready, we got our food all set to go. A couple things to remember when you're deep frying. Number one, the oil that you're using. We're going to use peanut oil, we're having it at about 374 degrees Fahrenheit. If you put in any less than that, the items that you drop in there are not going to fry very quickly meaning they're going to get really greasy. All that oil and grease is going to sop right into that food before it gets fried. We want this food to start getting a nice crispy coating immediately when we drop it in. So that's a big thing to remember when you're deep frying. Get our basket out. We're going to work in batches here. You don't want to put too many in at one time because that oil will bubble up a little bit once the food gets in there. So put it in slowly. Don't just drop that in there because you're going to have bubbles of oil everywhere if you do that. You want to work in batches and work slowly. Once your french fries are all done cooking, our next step is to add some seasoning to them. And the way that we do that is really simple. Get a nice big Tupperware tub or something like that. Something that's nice and big. Something that's going to be much bigger uh, than what your uh, amount of food actually is. So you can really toss it around and not worry about it going everywhere. So take your french fries and just dump them right into that tub. Now it's time to season, and you can be really creative with this. You don't have to just put salt on there and a little bit of pepper. You know, you can put any sort of your favorite spices on there. You know, if you like Cajun, use some Cajun seasoning. One of my favorite spices, fennel spice rub. It's a mixture of ground fennel, coriander, black pepper, and salt. And I'm going to put that in there and toss it all together. It makes an awesome French fry. And when you season your fries, make sure you do it very liberally. You want to get a lot on there because a lot is going to fall off right into the bottom of your uh, holder. So make sure you get a lot on there and then just simply toss it around. Don't shake the hell out of it because you're going to break those fries up into a thousand little itty bitty pieces. But make sure you get it tossed around enough to get all those fries coated with the seasoning so you don't just have some that are seasoned and some that are not. That's it. Delicious. One of the best things about a Friday night fish fry is that delicious, yummy beer batter. Now, it's not exactly anywhere in the realms of health food, but it's really delicious. But if you do have any sort of health concerns or heart issues, you might want to think long and hard about trying this recipe at home because it's not good for you, but it is at the same time. So to make our beer batter, really simply, we started with about two cups of flour right there in our bowl. And I like to kind of get creative with my batter. I like to add some seasonings to it. It doesn't just have to be beer and flour and eggs. I like to add a little bit of a kick to it. So I like to add a little cayenne pepper. And remember, a little does not go a long way in this case because this is going to get so diluted with the beer and all the other uh, spices and flavoring in here. So really, you want to be liberal when you're adding in your spices. I like to add a little bit of garlic salt to it as well. You don't want to use any sort of fresh chopped garlic or anything like that because keep in mind this is a batter so you need the ingredients to be mainly dry they are going to be mixed with the wet ingredients. Then of course to make the beer batter you need your beer and I'm going to use one 
actually from Wisconsin, my homeland. This is Lyman Kugels, and we're using a, a Sunset Wheat, one of my favorite of their beers. They have a great, great variety of beers available. If uh, you don't have it in your area, make sure you go to your uh, local liquor store and uh, ask about it because they can probably get it shipped in. Uh, they have all sorts of different seasonal varieties, really tasty stuff. On top of the beer, we're going to add in our eggs that have been mixed up just a little bit. Let me get that all mixed on in with our salt, flour, beer, spices. Let's add a little bit of pepper in there as well. All I'm going to do is just blend that batter up. Once our batter is all mixed up, we're going to get a nice big plate of flour out here for dredging our fish. We got the fish all nice and thawed out and dried off. We got a little salt and pepper on there. We're just going to put them right there into the flour, get a nice little coating of flour right on top of the fish. Now for this, we are using perch. So we get the flour dredged onto there. And what that's going to do is it's going to act almost as an adhesive for the uh, batter that we're going to put on there to keep it stuck onto the fish. Dip it right into the batter. Just drop it right in there. Get it nice and coated, completely covered, as if it was going swimming. Again, back from the dead, zombie perch, if you will. All right, we got our fish here, all set to do our little deep frying at an optimal temperature of about 300 degrees. So you wanna do it in a lower temperature than you did the French fries. Let's take a piece of fish, just like this, and just drop it in lightly into the fryer, just like that. You don't want to throw it in because you're going to have grease flying at you everywhere. Let it cook in there for probably about mm, six to seven minutes. Just want to kind of watch it so you get a nice golden brown on it. And that's really all there is to it. Serve your fish up alongside some of that coleslaw and some of your french fries. And you got yourself a traditional Friday night fish fry.